The Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission is wielding the big stick before supermarket owners in the country. It wants them to operate in line with provisions of its Act on Consumer Rights or Risk Sanctions. Lara Folayon reports. Nigeria's huge population and rapid urbanization makes it a promising consumer market on the continent. The continuous entry of local and international players into the country's retail space also shows it is a lucrative venture. But the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission feels it shouldn't be all about returns on investment for the country's retailers, but consumers getting good value for money. This explains why it is meeting virtually with both local and foreign supermarket owners across the country. It wants them to make consumer rights a top priority, as the FCCPC Act provides. Kajol will associate with our friends, and uh, in as much as you are on the right side of the law, but once you decide to be on the wrong side of the law, we are up to a task and would carry our job, carry out our job to the letter. The agency laments actions of supermarket owners during the rise in COVID-19 cases last year when the outrageously increased cost of essential items resulted in sanctions for some. There was no artificial scarcity through hoarding. And during our law, hoarding of goods is an infringement on the FCCPA. So the pool, all you guys will hoard, you just create the room. It also faults circumstances where customers cannot return 40 items after purchase and wants the business people to desist from such actions or face applicable consequences if found guilty. Competition is about the interest and welfare of consumers. That's the end. If consumers are happy, if consumers are getting prices at lower, I mean products at lower prices, you can be sure that the commission will not be coming after you. We always want the consumers to be happy all over the world. Without the consumers, your business will not continue. The Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Bill was signed into law by the president two years ago. It deepens the framework for encouraging and supporting greater value and satisfaction by consumers. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.